My name is Ariel Noke, and this is my visual analysis of, some, of Smothering Surf by Frederick Judd Law, an oil panel. I chose to do this painting because you can feel the anxiety as the film and the water take you under, and you feel like you are about to hit the cliff, and yet you can see the light coming from behind the rocks. You can see the horizontal lines where the rays start in the horizon and you can see the vertical lines as you go up and down the cliff into the water. You can see the implied lines as you look at the rocks on the cliff and you come out of the water. As you look at the waves and the foam and then you can see the curved lines. Notice the contouring lines on the rocks and the cliff and the shading and the shadows of the depth in the foam. The presence of organic shapes is in the water and the rocks, and the implied shapes is in the waves and the foam and the rocks on the cliff. And there is no mass because this is a painting. The light is shown as it comes out from behind the cliff and into the water. The chiaroscuro is shown in the darkness and in the, in the neutral colors of the rocks and the cliffs and the cool colors and tones and the tints and the tritary colors like the blues and the violets in the water. The visual texture is in the foam and the waves and the steepness in the rocks of the, of the cliff going into the water as well as you can see the linear perspective and the steepness and the roughness of the rocks and the height of the foam. The implied movement is the movement of the waves and how it pulls you under and the water. And the foreground is in the details of the foam and how the waves crash into the roughness of the rocks. In the naturalistic style, you can see the focal point is the waves crashing against the cliff and the emphasis on the waves coming in from the horizon. With all the details, this, paper, this painting is marvelous and beautiful with the anxiety and the emotion crashing down.